hello guys in this video uh, we are going to create this uh, increment counter so when the base loads uh, it show it it gives an animation like this and uh, we are going to create this today this is taken from the 50 projects in 50 days course by travis media you can check the description for more de details on that uh, so let's get into the video we are using the same template that we were previously previously using uh, the link to create this template uh, is in the cards you can check that out uh, we will be using live server to load the uh, page and I have added uh, a font awesome library here so you can get that from the cdnjs website let's start by uh, renaming the title so we'll add uh, increment counter so we'll, we'll be creating the same that is uh, in the demo so you can see it here uh, we'll be creating just like this one and for that uh, let's just remove the h1 tag and create a div with a class of counter container so each of uh, each of this uh, will be a container on its own and uh, that is this count container and it will be responsive as well so when it's uh, for, for mobile it will be in column and for bigger screens it will be in, uh, in in a row format so we will do all those styling as well and uh, in the column we have first the icon then the count and then uh, a subheading so we'll do the same so first we'll add the icon so i dot fab dot fa twitter so uh, for, for this is the font awesome library icon so we'll increase the size of it so now when we save we can see the twitter icon here uh, then we'll add this count so div with the class of counter and we'll for now we'll add a static value this will be later changed uh, in the in the javascript and the data for this will be coming from the javascript script so for that uh, in in a live scenario uh, this will be having a target value so for example uh, if it the final value is given here and based on this uh, the value will be shown on the screen so below that uh, we'll add a paragraph tag and we just write uh, Twitter followers and this is uh, the counter continue we just copy it multiple times and we just change uh, it to Facebook and YouTube so I have changed the uh, Twitter to Facebook and YouTube and you can see the, those things here uh, in the HTML and that's pretty much it uh, for the HTML part now uh, we'll, uh, we'll open the style.css file in the style uh, we'll first uh, change the font to Roboto Mono and we'll add that font here as well then uh, we'll change the background color of the body so we'll add background color to Rebecca purple and we'll change the color to white so that everything is having white color and we'll remove the flex direction column because for bigger screens we want it in a row now let's uh, style the counter container we'll uh, display it uh, flex and so that everything is aligned and we'll give it a flex direction of column because we want to align it one in uh, one below other and let's align it center to the flex so uh, justify content center and we'll also uh, text align center so that it's it's centered we'll add a margin so that each of these is separated from each other so we'll add a margin of uh, 20 pixel top and bottom and 50 pixel left and right so that there is sufficient space 
now uh, let's take, take the counter class and we will increase the text size or more accurately font size to 60 pixel okay so now if we re uh, reduce the size you can see it's not changing to column so we add a media query for it and add at media and we'll say is max width max width is 580 pixel and we will style the body and we will add flex direction column so that the flex direction is column for uh, the screen size below the below 580 pixels so for so everything is now aligned in a column for small screen size so that's all we need in the style part now let's open the script.js and first let's rem uh, remove this hardcoded value and we'll be using uh, that value from here uh, to change dynamically add the changes here so we'll save that now let's get all the all the counter counter divs into the script so const counters equal to document dot query selector all and counter and for each counter we want to do something so counter dot counters dot for each and for each counter um, let's add the inner text as zero for now okay save that so now you can see uh, the counter variable has been set to zero so in the in the div we have zero here now we want to uh, uh, want to find a way to increment this so we can do that uh, by adding a function to it um, so we'll be using uh, the principle of recursion or javascript so the function will be calling itself until it reaches that particular state or particular number so in this case uh, if for this counter uh, it will be reaching this variable and for this it will be reaching this value so we will be writing that function now so update counter equal to function and first let's get uh, the final value for each of the counter for so in the so in this case it will be it will be 12,000 5,000 and 10,000 so we will get that so const target is equal to counter get attribute and the attribute here is data target so since yeah, we have final value in that where that value we are getting uh, this attribute here and let's just uh, console let's just uh, log this target so so uh, two things what we have what we have to do is one first one is that uh, we have to see the type of target so since we want to do arithmetic operation we want uh, the target to be a number uh, but so we want to see the type of target and we want to see the target itself now let's save that and load it and open the console it's not there that's because function is not called so let's call that function And now you can see uh, it's 12,000 and it's a string. So we need to con convert uh, this into a number because we want to do arithmetic operations in it. So there are different ways to do that. Uh, one is uh, using pass int, uh, and another way is just add plus to the beginning of this. So now if we save save here, you can see that it has been changed to the type number. All these have been changed to the type of number. 
and we can do arithmetic operation so uh, we also want to get the inner text in here so const c equal to counter dot inner text and we want this one also to have the type of number and we we'll remove this console now we want an, an increment value to get the increment value we can either hard code it or we can dynamically change the value so the problem with hard coding is that uh, for different numbers if we increment with the same value it will take different time to complete the whole thing so we want to complete the whole animation at, a, at the same time so the way we can do that is uh, we can get the increment as as a, uh, when, when we divide the target by a specific number so when we do that uh, all the animation will complete at the same time for now let's divide by 200 and we can change this and based on this the time taken for the animation will, will change and uh, for now let's uh, do 200 and we'll increase it later so we want to increment uh, if or if the inner text is less than target and if this is so we want to increment so counter dot in the text equal to we are using the template literal format so c plus increment uh, but the problem here is uh, increment may may be a decimal number so we can't allow decimal to show so we'll add a we'll round it up using math dot c so this will uh, round the numbers when we say that you can see uh, it it shows the number once here and we want to loop this again and again until we reach the same number so we uh, call the counter variable um, this update counter function again but uh, only after a particular time so we'll set a time out here and we'll call the update counter function and we'll call it every one second so now uh, when we save it you can see that uh, the animation takes place and reaches the final value and if we change the uh, the 200 to 1000 it will take uh, much more time to reach the final value and but all of this reaches together uh, that's the beauty of this so if we change it to something like 10 it reaches very quickly so i think uh, yeah 200 is uh, good uh, so yeah uh, that's it for this video i hope you learned something from it uh, if you did do let me know and thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one